Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be doing something involving animals. We're going to be cutting out this beautiful pattern of some horses running through a field. The original pattern calls for one quarter inch thick wood, but I have beefed it up to one half inch thick Baltic birch plywood so we can make a base for it and we're going to make the base out of this scrap piece of three quarter inch pine. We're probably going to cut this knot off over on the table saw and make a base and then glue the horses onto it like so. But this is going to be a gift for my aunt. She lives out toward the country and she loves all things um, rustic and nature and stuff like that to decorate her house with. So let's head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes for the interior cuts and get started. And we're going to start over here at the drill press, drilling our internal pilot holes for the scroll saw blade to go through. I think it's around five or six for this project, not very many. And we're going to start scrolling. As with most scroll saw projects I do, I'm using a number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blade. And even though this is half inch, Baltic birch plywood, the number five blade is still cutting through it like butter. If you would like to try this beautiful pattern, you can download it for free. It is a Steve Good design and you can get it at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Just going through here and getting all the internal cuts done before we begin that final long cut that will release the horses from the wood. If you like this project, please give me a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you would consider sharing the video and also subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'm taking a pen and just altering how the base is going to be. Just taking some artistic freedom in that area. And now we're going to begin that final long cut. And this is just one long continuous cut that will release the horses from the wood. Just going along here, taking our time, not trying to rush it. The um, scroll saw is going to do all the work. You're just essentially guiding the wood through the blade. Also, guys, if you're interested, please go follow me on Instagram. I'm way more active over there. I try to post daily or sometimes two times daily over there and you can find me at Artisan Pirate. Finishing up here on the outside cut and the project will be ready to be released from the wood there and I'm going to peel the pattern off and get our piece of pine wood we're going to use for a base and mark it just big enough where I, we could remove this knot over on the table saw here and I'm going to square the one side up and then flip it around and then cut it to size and then I'm going to take the piece over to my workbench and use a eighth inch round over bit on my Harbor Freight trim router this is a great little trim router for just projects like this and round over the base And now we're going to head to sanding, give it a nice once over front and back with the palm sander. And then take the project back over to the workbench and finish sanding with some sandpaper. And I'm going to use Gorilla wood glue to attach the horses to the base. And use a couple spring clamps to hold it in place while the glue dries. 
and then I let the glue set up a little and came back and removed the clamps and used my wood burner to put my initials and the month and the year on the base and the project was completed. And here we have the completed horses running through a field. I think it turned out real good. It has a nice little 3D kind of effect to it. Again, I used one half inch Baltic birch plywood for the actual horses and a scrap piece of three quarter inch pine for the base. All that's left to do for this project is stain it a nice color to match some of the other stuff I've made my aunt and then add a clear coat to it and then the project will be completed. Again, I think it turned out real good. It's another look at it. And it sanded up nice and smooth. I really like it. That about wraps up this video. Remember guys, if I can make it, you can make it. Always challenge yourself to new and unique projects. I will have one of my older videos floating up in this corner. The subscribe button floating in this corner. Until next time, I'm the Artisan Pirate and I'll see you guys real soon.